Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for, us, for all, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity for us to present our research in this occasion conference uh, for Perubutur International Symposium 2022. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Daniel Bruno and I'm a lecturer at the Faculty of Geography in the University of Surakarta. In this moment, I will present our result and keep on integrating remote sensing and geographic information system for carbon sequestration monitoring in tropical watershed. And this is our uh, outline presentation. And this presentation will divide in four parts. The first part is introduction with uh, research background and research purpose. Uh, and the second is methodology. And the third is result. And the fourth is uh, conclusion. Okay, next for the introduction. Uh, water set is an area of land that is drained by a distinct stream or river system and it's usually spilled from the outer water sheet by grass or hill mountain. And water sheet has a lot of function related uh, to ecological, economic, social and cultural aspect. Therefore, conserving water set with all of this function can create a good sustainable development in this area. One of the important functions of water set uh, is uh, carbon absorbing from atmosphere. Uh, green vegetated area in the water set such as uh, forest area, agriculture area, shrub which are uh, spread in the all of area of water set, especially in upper area can absorb some carbon from atmosphere through photosynthesis process. So it can it can contribute to mitigate the risk of global warming phenomena. But, however, in fact, the function of water set are threatened by two phenomena. The first is decreasing vegetated land area, and the second is the increasing land degradation. Vegetated area in water set was compared to built up land area for human activities, such as settlement and industrial activities. Vegetated area conversion can change the ecological function to absorb some carbon from atmosphere. This condition also happened in upper Peninsula water set during 10 years. During 10 years, there is a 40% uh, of decreasing on the vegetated area based on the previous research uh, that conducted by Anna uh, at uh, 2018. There, uh, so the second phenomena uh, which threaten the water set function is increasing land degradation. Increasing land degradation indicates that there are so many buried islands uh, without vegetation. It happened due to exploitation and misuse management on the land. This, this condition also happened in upper peninsula water set. And based on the data, until now there are uh, 300 hectare of land in this area is classified in degraded land. And therefore, uh, I think it it needs to monitor the dynamic change in the water set regularly, uh, not only in the land conversion and land degradation phenomena, but also in the carbon sequestration potential. However, and uh, pro. However, it faced a problem due to the large size of tropical water set, especially in Indonesia. It's difficult to monitor carbon sequestration frequently in a large size area by using Perturman. It needs a big cost and a long time to do. In this research, we try to solve this problem by integrating GIS and remote sensing to monitor carbon sequestration in upper Pengawan Solo water set and by using RSGIS and RS and JIS, carbon sequestration can be modeled in large water set area in actual time with a low cost. Carbon sequestration modeling with integration between remote sensing RJS can be modeled by using Chasa method and Chasa method was can be used to measure 
the vegetation product PPT through photosynthesis so it can be used to model the carbon absorption during the photosynthesis process. In Indonesia, uh, and uh, the study about carbon balance in, is still discussing about potential of carbon storage in the forest area, especially in the Kalimantan and Sumatra forest. Study about carbon uh, sequestration in water set is still rarely. Therefore, this research was focused in the study of dynamic chain of carbon sequestration in water set area. And this is the research purpose, and this research time to analyze the dynamic chain of terrestrial carbon sequestration in our Perbungan Solo water set during uh, 2000 until 2020. And this is the study area, and this is uh, our research uh, area that uh, cover in four regency, the first is Boyolali, and the second is Clark and Regency, the fourth is uh, Surakarta, and the uh, five is Sukoherjo, and the Karanganyar, and the Wonogiri Regency. Uh, and this is the methodology of this research. Uh, to to plan the purpose and dynamic change of terrestrial carbon sequestration, we uh, try to use four data and the first is monthly methodological data uh, and the second is MDPI value and the third is land use map and the fourth is NPP value. For meteorological data we uh, we collect data from PMKT uh, or Bureau of Meteorological and Geophysical and Climatology in Indonesia especially from temperature, soil moisture and evaporation and uh, uh, data solar radiation uh, we collect from meteorological data from NASA and for NDPI and land use map uh, we use uh, Landsat 5 and Landsat 8 or uh, Landsat 5 is to model the NDPI and land use map uh, in 2000 year and Landsat 8 to model the NDPI and land use map in uh, 2020. And the third uh, and the fourth is MPP value. Uh, we use uh, the uh, third data, but the first is annual methodological data, and the second is NDPI value, and the third is land use map. And uh, three data we can use the Kasha method to model the NPP on the carbon sequestration in the upper command solar water set. And this is the research flow chart. Uh, uh, we, we have uh, three data. Uh, the first is NDPI, and the second is model data, and the third is land conifer. And with, the, with, the, with these three data, we can uh, try to model the carbon sequestration using Kasha model. Uh, and the uh, flow recent project is can be seen in this uh, graphic. Okay, next the result. Uh, the first result is the uh, meteorological data in Upper Command Solo. From this data, we can see uh, the meteorological data is uh, changing monthly. I think the precipitation is getting higher in the January until uh, getting higher in November until April and declining when the uh, month is in May and until uh, September and next uh, for the NDP FLU and this is the NDP FLU uh, in NDP FLU we can see that uh, Upper Pengan Solo Water Set is dominated by high density vegetation in the 2000 uh, year, in the year of uh, 2000. Uh, and all of the uh, water set is covered by high density vegetation. And when we uh, compare with uh, NDP FLU in year of uh, 2020, the high density vegetation is change change to low density vegetation all of area in Punawan Solo watershed uh, 
in year of uh, 2020, all of high density is convert to low density vegetation or with uh, no vegetation or as a built, like, built up land area. And I think and the density of vegetation is declined significantly during uh, 20 years in Upper Punawan Solo Water Center. And, the, uh, and if we try to compare with land use change, I think uh, it's similar with uh, NDPI. Uh, there are a uh, change significantly or drastically uh, changing in the forest area or vegetated land area uh, around 50 percent uh, in uh, 20 years period in 20 years period uh, and this vegetated area is changed to the built up land and buried land uh, so I think it can be uh, change the art so uh, the carbon absorbing in the upper Bungawan solar water zone. And uh, by using the third, uh, the three data and the uh, uh, meteorological data, NDP and land use change, we can try to model the NPP value and the NPP value. I think the I think the uh, pattern of uh, NPP value is followed is following by uh, the NDPI value, uh, and when the uh, in the year of 2000, I think uh, the net primary productivity is have a big value, but I think in in and if we compare with the year of uh, 2020, the net primary productivity or the carbon sequestration in Upper Bengawan Solo water set is declined drastically. Uh, and uh, if we see and at the map in MPP value in year of uh, 2000, we can know that there are a lot of uh, green area and the share, but I think we uh, we can see in NPP um, a map of NPP value in the year of uh, 2020. Uh, the green uh, area with uh, high NPP value is to is declined drastically, and when we Compare in the graph uh, in 20 period. I think uh, in urban, very urban and rural area in Upper Pengan Solo Water Set is the NPP value or the carbon sequestration is uh, declined drastically and uh, around 20, 10, around 20 percent. And this is on the, on the map of uh, carbon dioxide sequestration value. Uh, and I think it's following with uh, the NPP value. Because carbon dioxide sequestration value uh, can be modeled by using NPP value. And we use a mathematic uh, calculation to uh, to know the carbon dioxide sequestration by using NPP value. And this is the monthly variation of NPP value uh, from January uh, until December. And I think uh, when we uh, when we see in this map uh, from January until December, uh, there are a significant changing during wet season in uh, November until March uh, is the NPP value is still bigger and when the dry season is already coming in April until September and the uh, NPP value is getting lower uh, and from this, I, uh, we know that uh, carbon sequestration in upper domain solar water set 
which has a uh, high concentration uh, happen during the wet season and carbon sequestration in upper peninsula watershed is getting lower in the uh, dry season. Okay, uh, and I think it is the conclusion of this research. Uh, during 20 years from 2000 until 2020, carbon sequestration in upper Pungansolo watershed declined significantly around 25%. And the highest change happened in the suburban area that spread administratively in Sukoharjo and Katan Regency. And the highest carbon sequestration happened at January until March when the wet session began. Okay, uh, I think it's our, our presentation. Uh, thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.